What's going on guys, Firewolf Tech here, showing you guys the Sony 27 inch InZone M9 gaming monitor. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all around this 144Hz monitor, so let's get it. This M9 model features a 4K IPS LCD panel, fast 1 millisecond response time, and is NVIDIA G-Sync compatible. It's also a display HDR600 certified, giving you a great HDR experience. The resolution of 3840 by 2160 puts the PPI at about 163 pixels per inch, which makes this display nice and sharp. The design language took 100% inspiration from the PS5 and even added a unique leg stand that looks cool but is sadly missing a lot of functionality. The good news is that this monitor has a lot of great input options which I'll show you later on. Before we jump into the unboxing experience, I want to first shout out and thank Silkland for sponsoring this video and providing me beautiful and sturdy DisplayPort cables that feature the latest DisplayPort 2.1. You'll be future-proofing with these cables since it'll eventually support future specs such as running 4K all the way up to 240Hz. Alright, let's dive into the unboxing experience of this Sony InZone M9. Right on top, we're going to have all the accessories and goodies and I will be showcasing that later on. First thing I want to show you is the monitor itself. And since this is only 27 inches, it's not too heavy. It's pretty light. And I'm gonna go ahead and take off the plastic wrapping. Now, somebody in my comment section before did not like me tearing these up, so I will be preserving it in case I have to put it away. And there we have the monitor itself. It definitely has a flat panel. It definitely has an anti-glare coating on it as well. Definitely like the unique design of it, that white and black going on. All right, so inside the box, we're gonna have the actual stand. Now this is gonna be very, very unique design and it's going to be directly bolted into this monitor arm with that beautiful white and black color scheme, which is basically the same design as a PlayStation 5. I think it looks really nice side by side. We do have some nice openings for some cable routing here as well. The only thing I don't like about this stand here is that it only has height adjustment and tilts. Uh, there's no swivel there's no none of that it's just height adjustment and tilt now we have the power adapter which is really really huge and then we have the us plug which is the same exact one that you have to connect a ps5 which i think is cool and then we have some limited warranty information some end zone stickers and some color factory reports and then we have the bolts here to bolt the stand and then we have this little alligator thing which i don't know what that's really used for a nice little setup guide to show you exactly how to put it all together. Now, my only thing I don't like about this is that there's no cables at all, no connection cables. So shout out to Silkland for giving me this beautiful DisplayPort cable. I just wish that they included cables, but thankfully Silkland came in clutch. Now, here are the inputs here. We're going to have many, many inputs, and I do love the fact that they give us so many options. We have DisplayPort 1.4, 2 HDMI 2.1, 3 USB-A ports, one USB-C port, which will be able to connect to your MacBook, to your laptop, because it does have a display port. Not enough to power your laptop though. Uh, we do get a three and a half millimeter headphone out and one USB upstream. All right, let's go ahead and install the stand here. Thankfully, it is very easy and simple to install. We just have to line up the feet against the monitor stand. And then we just screw in the screw two screws that are provided with a Phillips screwdriver. And after that, we're just going to line it up against the back of the M9. All we have to do is angle it down. And we're going to hear a nice little click, letting us know it's nice and secure and it's ready to pick up. All right, taking a look at the back of the monitor here. I think it looks beautiful with that white and black color scheme. Definitely makes a huge statement with that stand. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. To me, at first, it looks very awkward looking. You can see that it has design cues from the PS5, but it looks way better up front. I think it looks really nice and sleek. And we can see the sticker here that Sony provides us, letting us know it's the InZone M9, and that it is made specifically perfect for PlayStation 5. Now this stand, unfortunately, doesn't have a lot of features. The only thing you could do is adjust the height and adjust the tilts. Uh, there's no swivel, there's no pivot, unfortunately. Um, so I don't like that at all, at all. So I wish they had that feature on. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this little sticker here. Taking a look at the back here, I have the power connected and it hides really nicely against the stand here. 
And shout out to Silkland for giving me this beautiful DisplayPort 2.1 cable since Sony decided not to include any input cables whatsoever. I don't know why they did that. Now, Silkland offers this beautiful DisplayPort that offers resolutions all the way up to 16K. So you will be future proofing yourself by getting this beautiful cable. It's really nice, very sturdy. I love the black color scheme and it works perfectly in my setup. Very easy to put on, as you can see here, slides in really nice and easy. And this is the 10 foot cable. They come in so many different sizes, but I got the 10 foot because I needed it to be connected all the way into my PC, which is connected via DisplayPort 1.4 on the back. Now that we have the M9 connected via DisplayPort, taking a look at the display settings here, and we can see that it has a maximum resolution of 3840 by 2160 with a refresh rate of 144 Hertz. Turning on HDR will get you the 10 bit color depth and I highly recommend downloading Windows HDR calibration because let me tell you, when you successfully calibrate this display, it looks absolutely beautiful and stunning and you gotta take a look at it via gameplay. I'm running Modern Warfare on the highest setting using my RTX 4090 graphics card and combined with the Sony Inzone M9 makes gameplay run super smooth while keeping high fidelity. The HDR on the M9 is straight up fire, keeping everything lit up. The response time is buttery smooth thanks to the included NVIDIA G-Sync feature. I would even argue that this M9 was meant for beautiful 4K PC gaming. Alright, since Sony claims that the M9 is the perfect display for the PS5, we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. After calibrating the HDR, taking a look at the video output information here, we can see that it does support 4K and it will support variable refresh rate all the way up to 120 Hertz. Now I'm going to enable the FPS counter on the top left. We can see that it's locked in at 60 Hertz. But once I jump into this God of War gameplay, we can see that it's variably changing and I'm noticing Hertz vari variably changing anywhere between 70 all the way up to 83 Hertz. And man, I gotta say this display looks absolutely beautiful and a perfect combination for the PS5. Now, one of the things that I love about this monitor is its diversity of inputs. So not only does it support DisplayPort HDMI 2.1, but you're also able to connect your laptop via USB-C. So this is perfect for MacBook Pros or any type of laptop that features USB-C connectivity. Now I did have to change the input settings here for the USB-C, but we can see that the MacBook is automatically detected. And once I close the MacBook, we can see the Mac OS basically taking full effect on the Sony M9, and I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Now I do have the Logitech MX Master Series, and all I have to do is click a couple of buttons and it automatically switches to my MacBook Pro 16. And honestly guys, the 27 inch form factor looks absolutely beautiful, and I feel like I have a lot of space for a lot of things. Taking a look at the nighttime over here, I'm gonna show you the different lighting settings that you have with the M9. Now using the joystick on the back, you have more options in the settings and you can personalize the rear lighting. You don't get a lot of colors and I have it set to blue right now and I'll show you a couple of different um, lighting cycles. I do wish that it was brighter because it's really hard to notice the back lighting because this monitor is kind of large. So you don't really notice it at all. Now using the menu settings over here, you do have a lot of customization option. You can change different presets, you can add crosshairs, you can change the timers, um, add the FPS counter, um, lots of different customization using the joystick option in the back. Now jumping back into my PC here, one of the most important things for me for a monitor is how well it boosts my productivity and workflow. I've recently started using DaVinci Resolve and it has been a great experience on the Sony Inzone M9. The HDR is very bright and the 4K resolution makes text and small details nice and sharp, which is great for work. The M9 is priced at $900, which isn't cheap, but when you're in this price range, you're looking for a great 4K gaming monitor and the M9 does not disappoint. I think Sony did a great job with the M9 making a statement with its unique stand. I was really blown away with the HDR experience and it really takes advantage of the PS5. What surprises me the most though is that this monitor isn't just great for the PS5, it's also a great monitor for PC gaming as long as you have a strong graphics card since 4K will push your graphics card. Now just because you may have an Xbox Series X doesn't mean the Inzo M9 won't play nice. HDMI 2.1 will really give you next gen console performance. 
While I appreciate the built-in speakers, I'll be really honest and tell you guys that it sounds really crappy and hope they improve that in future models. The stand does take some time to get used to and I would probably recommend using a monitor arm so that you can get back your desk space since this takes up a lot of space. All in all guys, the M9 did not disappoint and I would recommend this if you're looking for a 4K monitor that does HDR right and is great for both work and play. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and as always, thanks so much for watching guys.